Yell Canada get live! I would say last year because I, my first time going home for Christmas, you know, when you play ball a like, lot, you don't really get to go home because you got games. Sometimes you get like three or two days off. Last year was my first time going home for Christmas in like six years. Right, right. So that was my memorable Christmas last year. My most memorable Christmas was in, uh, I think, about 1994, 1996, whenever the PlayStation came out. I got all my gifts. My mother was like, that's it. I started crying. I'm not gonna lie, I started crying. My dad bought in the PlayStation from the back. Best day of my life. I played the demo for three months until my birthday. Three months. <laughs> That's it. That's my most memorable moment. My most memorable Christmas would be probably when I was in, I believe, sixth or seventh grade. Sixth or seventh grade. Um, I got a dirt bike. I'm a country boy. I grew up on a farm, man. <laughs> And I got, uh, got a dirt bike. I was either 6th or 7th grade. And I could not wait. We woke up before, before the sun came up. And uh, we, as soon as we uh, found out that we had a dirt bike, we got my dad to come outside and, and let us. But it was still dark outside. You had snow? Uh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't snow. It wasn't snowing on that Christmas. But we were ready to ride that dirt bike. If it was snowing, we was going to ride it too. <laughs> Oh man, I don't even. I'm the wrong one for this. <laughs> Christmas gift? Oh, like toy soldiers, yeah. rocking horses. I mean, I'll just, I'll just ask for a basketball every Christmas. <laughs> I ask for a new ball every Christmas. Every Christmas. Sad to say, but my grandpa and my my grandma passed away, and they bought me a um, basketball goal. I didn't play basketball, but they bought it, and it was weird to me, you know. And I always remember that because both of them bought one. And now, when I started playing basketball in 12th grade, I think about like they both bought me one right before they passed away. Like, was this meant to be? Because I didn't like it at all. So, so I never play. I never shot on it or anything, but. I don't know, when as I got older, at 18, I just thought back to that moment, and I just, you know, it was a, I love it, you know. Oh, oh, man, memorable Christmas. It's probably when I first got my uh, first N64. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think I got Super Mario Brothers, and I feel like me and my dad played that the whole day, and I think I beat it the same day. <laughs> That's probably the best Christmas I ever had, man. Uh, Probably, I think the, the day after Christmas, I got another game, and I played that all day. So that's probably the best Christmas I ever had, man, once I got that N64. You know, N64, was, that was that deal back in the day. So. I was probably about eight years old, and I, I'm a huge Dallas Cowboys fan. And I saw all my friends, they were running around with this, this reversible Dallas Cowboys jacket, man. And I wanted one so bad, man. I was like begging for one, begging for one. And then Christmas morning, I woke up, I went on the tree, and guess what? That reversible cowboy jacket was there. And man, I couldn't stop smiling. I put it on, ran outside, showed all my friends, and I had some rollerblades, and I never took that jacket off from them. I, I, I think I still have that jacket somewhere, somewhere around there. It don't fit no more, but that was, that was my jacket, man. I, I love that jacket, man. It was black on one side, it had, it had cowboys on it, and you could reverse it, and it'd be blue on the other side, and it had the big star on the back. Yeah, yeah, it had the big star on the back. Man, I love that jacket, man. The Christmas before my daughter was born. Okay. The uh, reason why was because the excitement. I had about a week left and the excitement of it. So that was my best Christmas. Is that it? That's it. First dog. My one and only dog, actually. Dog? Yeah, I was like five years old. And you wanted a dog? Yeah, I wanted a dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't wrapped up or nothing like that. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I just remember going in the backyard and. Uh, I seen a little doghouse out there. I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, like, what we got a doghouse for? <laughs> and then the dog just came running out. And I was just so happy, you know. But, you know, that was probably my most memorable Christmas. I can, I can remember, yeah, so. Gotcha. Yes. I would say my most memorable Christmas was when I got a BB gun. I was about, <laughs> I was about 11, 12 years old. I got a BB gun, you know, and I went out and I, and I, and I shot a lot of birds or whatever. But what made it so memorable was I was playing around with it, and I shot the screen out of my front door, my mom's front door, and she let me have it. Like, I probably right now, sometimes at night, I wake up and still feel the butt whipping she gave me. <laughs> That's what makes that Christmas so memorable to me, man. <laughs> a butt whipping and a BB gun. <laughs> never forget it. I never forget it. <laughs>